hey i am fam what is up so uh, i know it's been a very very long time since we spoke for the last time and uh, there are actually a lot of things that are going inside of my head so uh, i don't know this was supposed to be a live but uh, i just uh, tried going live and it says that i have to request for a permission and that is going to happen uh, after more 24 hours so uh, i was supposed to keep this as a live but uh, i'm just recording it very raw currently so that you know uh, it feels like a live itself so there are a lot of things that were going in my mind so uh, here it is and uh, for a long time i have been th- uh, thinking about creating videos even when i wasn't creating uh, videos and uh, this is a form of video which i thought of uh, putting up on my channel as something that's very raw something that is coming from me directly and there are no edits i am making mistakes and i mean there is uh, i mean it's not completely raw but there are some things that i have written on my screen over here which i'll be uh, referring to when i lose track of my thought so that uh, track ha huh, i said it correctly right so i mean you uh, you can see me seeing at the screen so uh, from many days i was thinking of uh, going live and speaking to you all uh telling you about how my day was how what i'm thinking uh what struggles i face as an international student over here and i was just uh, procrastinating it i mean not procrastinating but i didn't have the courage to go uh, do a live and go completely raw in front of my audience uh but yeah i also know that we all are a family and uh how much you all are going to support me but uh, there's always that fear so i didn't uh, i uh, like i didn't think of uh, basically doing it today but today i had a little more courage not only because uh, one of my ideals that is uh, roshni chelani she encouraged me to uh, do this but also because it's my father's uh, birthday today so i just want to make him feel proud and uh, i mean make him happy that i am stepping outside of my comfort zone to do something that is obviously going live and just uh, go raw on this platform so uh, yeah and there's one more reason that uh, i'm making this video is because in the future when i come back and watch one of these videos and the later ones which i am going to make after this i want to come back to a video where i understand what my mindset was during that time not only that but also pat myself on how far uh, i have come so uh to continue uh today ha huh, okay so today is actually the 1st of june and uh, i have completed two long semesters over here in the university of texas at dallas and uh, halfway through my uh, masters in business analytics so to be honest uh, i had switched from a btech in electronics and communication engineering completely to uh, something which i had never done so it's that is the masters in business analytics and i did not have any uh, prior knowledge about what tools are required what kind of a thinking is required for this field but i love the idea of doing business analytics what do a business analyst do he helps you make better business decisions so this is something that i uh, always wanted to do and i uh, dive into it so 
after two semesters i can say that uh, i have built a lot of uh, knowledge on the tools that are required such as r sql uh, then we have excel sas then i haven't studied python uh, in my course so far but i have learned it on my own through courses uh, basically the, these are uh, things such as i mean the subjects which we had were like database foundations then predictive analytics using sas and these all not only just helped us in uh, knowing the tools good but uh, they also helped us in uh, making good business decisions by solving business problems so uh, i think this is something that i really uh, loved about this course so far and my day in i mean a day in my life would basically look like uh, going to the classes then studying in the library playing pool or table tennis and student union then just hanging around with my friends or going to the food retailers over here in our campus such as the starbucks and just applying for internships so since we are talking i mean uh, since we are in the uh, june currently uh, this is a period where most of the students do an internship so internships are a like very integral part of our course we must uh, have at least one internship in the entire uh, masters degree this is i mean i'm telling you this because it's not something that we do uh, only to make money or uh, i mean to get paid really well but uh, this is something we do so that uh, we can get a work experience in the us we come from international countries so like india pakistan then there are people from europe and all we do not have a work experience over here so it's good to have a work experience by getting one of these internships and so far uh, i mean what i would say ha huh, okay so uh, one of my inter, uh, seniors had actually told me this that once you land in the us start applying then and there itself and i was like this is so ridiculous like we are just entering uh, us let me breathe but then also i did uh, listen to his advice and uh, started applying but not very very seriously uh, until the end of january so uh after i came from uh new york which was like a 10 day trip that i went to and uh, it was january that was the time we started hearing about students getting internships and it was just like an alarm and most of the like students i would say uh they started applying really very seriously at that moment because to be honest we are not only just competing with the students in ut dallas or in dallas but we are competing with students from the entire uh, us for that job role so it's tough and we should have started seriously uh, in a very uh, early stage but there still hope so uh, i mean this was just uh, okay till uh we heard about students getting internships but it started really hitting us hard when students who were our friends started uh, getting internships and we do we actually genuinely feel happy for them but there's a small voice inside that uh, keeps getting louder and louder by each day which basically says when will our number come right so uh to this present day many of my friends have got an internship uh, but there are also many including me who haven't yet uh, got an internship so there uh, there are people who are actually helping us a lot and one person i would say is our program director gaurav shekhar himself he is like working really hard to uh, get us internships and all uh, and like i don't know he's doing so much responsibilities i just 
uh, once and I don't know how he handles everything. And there are some other people who like we do not know personally, but are helping us a lot also. So they are uh, these famous YouTubers like uh, Rob Adams, uh, Path Vijay Vargya, UDJ, then Roshni Chelani, and there are some uh, whom I can't recall right now, but there are so many of them that uh, helping us without even knowing us very. Uh, personally, I don't know. I have, I have this urge of looking at the screen rather than the camera, but do bear with me. Um, you might say uh, now since I have entered this summer uh, season, how am I utilizing my time? Uh, I'm just, uh, to be very honest, I'm trying to upskill myself. I'm eating good, uh, eating healthy, making healthy choices. Uh, I'm, redu- I'm trying to reduce my social media uh, intake then I go for a run every day and this is something that I have uh, started doing since the last week itself so really trying to stick to it then I've been trying to sleep in early get up early just basically trying to uh, build a routine around it so I know it's not impossible uh, to find an internship, you just need to have the right mindset towards it. Uh, one thing I would like to say that everyone's time is going to come and everyone is going to land an amazing internship or a, uh, a like if, even if not an internship, a very good uh, and amazing uh, full time offer. So remember it is just your story it's not anyone else's story so do not compare yourself to others and uh, i think uh, i have already spoken a lot so uh, i hope it was wonder wonderful uh, hearing me and just a note to everyone that keep working hard uh, your efforts will never betray you and uh, this is my time so thank you and it's your own uh, i'm pranavji signing off let's fight this together so yeah uh, and again lastly happy birthday papa bye